start with you. Are you I'm ready? ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yes, ma'am. I guess uh, when you made the uh, decision today, yes. um, and everybody wants to know what the Office of General Services is. The Office of General Services is the office that owns all the buildings, does all the procurement, technology, commodities. It's really the operations of government. And um, as you all know, I was the chair of the Governmental Operations Committee for a number of years in the Assembly. And um, the governor has been, ta we've been talking about through the transition what I believe the changes should be, um, bringing the Office of General Services and the procurement process into the 21st century. I've authored a lot of the bills that procurement um, that follows, the Office of General Services follow, the Stewardship Act of Procurement. And um, I have some very uh, distinct ideas of how we can bring the state into the 21st century. <coughs> Uh, use the borrowing power of the state government, uh, bringing all the agencies together and also providing savings to local governments. So um, we've been talking about those issues and um, he asked me if I wanted to follow my passion and come to the executive. And uh, I thought about it and last night I made the decision and told him to go. How, for somebody that's been in assembly for ever it seems like how tough of a decision was it it was a very tough decision and I want everyone to know that it was a very very tough decision and um, I indicated to the governor that I wouldn't stop advocating for this region of the state and upstate as a whole because I feel very strongly about um, the jobs and the economy and he said it's his part of the state also so um, I think that we'll we'll be a good team what happens, to your assembly what happens to your assembly seat now? Um, I don't vacate my assembly seat until I'm confirmed by the Senate. So I have to be, you know, this was a nomination. Um, I will be confirmed um, by the Senate when they, when they decide, the fiscal committee decides to uh, have me come before them. And uh, then I will resign, and it's up to the governor to, in fact, um, call a special election. It's Did a special election. Did you have a conversation with the governor? I did. And how that? Uh, what was that like? It went very well. I'm I'm very pleased. I'm very happy, but I'm also sad because I'm giving up something that I was also passionate about, being in an elected office. But I know that this is a, a different step, and I know that I can make a difference in on the executive side also. We said you in Utica. I will have an office in the Utica State Office Building, but I am also, uh, I will have an office in Albany. You said so it will be the same, I same type of situation. You said you had some ideas for your new position. Can you talk about some of those? I know you, you mentioned a couple already, but anything um, uh, concrete? No, just the, just the whole idea of bringing procurement into the 21st century, using um, technology to do procurement, to make sure that um, we're buying in bulk, believe it or not, different things. Um, the technology side, I believe, um, belongs together with um, the Office of General Services. We do commodity services and we should be doing um, technology together with the Office for Technology. Um, so I think there's a lot. I will be part of the SAGE Commission. I will be staffed to the SAGE Commission. Um, so I'll be working with my fellow legislators and other uh, people to look at how we can um, downsize and right size government but still provide the services to the people of the state of New York. So you'll be and I'll be uh, I will be implementing Governor Cuomo's policies. In in many ways, I mean nanotech's your baby. Um, leaving your assembly seat and seeing that process through, do you regret that you can't do that and are you still gonna pay attention to it? Oh I'm gonna very much pay attention to it and I think the governor knows that too. Will you be spending a lot of time in Albany now? More I'll than be you spending do now. Um, more time in Albany but I will have a Utica office. I'll probably be in the Utica State Office building which is a building that OGS owns. And have you talked to Democrats at all about your successor? I mean, no, about I resigning? I have not talked to the Democrats. Anybody in mind? I just made the decision. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have anybody in mind, and it's really not for me to decide, um, but it will be the collective thoughts of the Democratic Party in, here in Oneida County. When do you expect the confirmation? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. Is it generally the, weeks, months? Um, it's been weeks because um, I think there's some nominations that are ahead of me, um, so there will be you know, some nominations. And it's the fiscal committees which we're still doing the budget uh, hearings. How will this affect the budget dialogue currently taking place? How will it affect How will it, it? affect it? How will you, are you still going to be participating in it? Well, I'm going to participate as long as I'm a member of the assembly, yes. I will participate, but 
I will, um, you know, I once I resign, I resign. And the people that voted for you, I mean, your message to them is, I'm assuming that you can still affect change. I can, and, and you know, I talked to the governor about that, and he said, just tell everybody that you will have a bigger role in state government um, now for the for the constituents that you you serve. Well, a lot of the uh, issues have centered around education cuts, and upstate New York is saying, wait a second, you have to consider what these cuts will mean to a uh, less, well, poorer district compared to richer district. Is that an issue that you'll personally look into considering your, your I will personally be looking into a lot of those issues, and I think having the governor's ear, having been a legislator, having represented people for close to 19 years, um, I think I have a lot of um, background and I will be able to talk with the governor about and his staff about what goes on in upstate New York and how the formula um, affects low-income, high-need school districts. So I will always be able to talk to the governor. I won't have a vote, but I will be able to talk with him. You seem very happy. I, I don't think I've ever seen you smile so much during <laughs> a, a, a press conference. Tell us how you're feeling, personally. Um, I have mixed emotions, I want you to know, but I'm very pleased that I made the decision um, to do this, but I also have mixed emotions because there's a lot of people this morning and, and this afternoon that I really care about in my district. But now you'll be able to help them even more. Yes. That's right. So do you expect to vote on this year's budget? Do you think it'll, um, it'll happen before that? I don't know. I don't know. I could I could be there till April 1st, or um, it all depends on, it's the Senate Finance Committee that does nominations, so they have to um, finish their hearings. They might be busy with the budget, so I may still be in the Assembly till May, uh, April 1st. Can I don't know. That you know, please don't quote sure. me because I don't know. Well, Can you talk about you. congratulations? Thank you. Can you talk about Thanks some of the so issues you'll be uh, you still highlighting? Do your interview? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll be there. All right. Okay. Can you Thank talk you. about some of the issues you'll be highlighting uh, today during this meeting? Oh, during this meeting, um, we're hearing about education. Uh, we're hearing about um, you know health care cuts, and those are so important to me. So um, I'm listening very. Uh, it very deeply about what what's going what's going to come down. Anything specific budget. that you'll be talking about that will be affecting people in this? No, district? I'm actually listening today. I'm listening to what everyone has to say. What are some of the concerns? Concerns are school aid. School aid. School aid. And that'll yes. be a special baby for yes. you once you even yes. in your new position. Yes. We're going to look for ways to help everybody save money. Any last minute words you'd like to tell your current constituents? My current constituents. Um, I, I will always remember um, my legislative experience and the people that I represented and I can uh, assure you that um, I will still be there fighting for it for all of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good. 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 He's 20. Yeah. 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 yeah.